Welcome to video 25, my 30 day video series. In keeping with my last save plan video, I want to talk about some green tax breaks for businesses. To be more specific, the federal government wants you to go green if you own commercial residential building, rental building. Uh, so these credits, right? They are complicated uh, and, and subject to new restrictions. So I won't go into too much detail. If you need help with these, consult your tax professional. First up, the ITC or Business Energy Investment Tax Credit. You can claim the, the ITC if you install solar, wind, or other renewable energy facilities in your commercial or rental building. The Inf Inflation Reduction Act, IRA, not to be confused with uh, individual retirement account, <laughs> I retroactively increased the credit from 26 to 30% for projects that began, begin before 2025. And in 2022, you qualified for a 10% bonus credit if your project was located in a low-income community or in a community involved with fossil fuels. One cool thing about the ITC, although it's not refundable, it is transferable. What does that mean? You can sell it to an unrelated taxpayer. Okay, so that's a great thing. In 2025, the ITC will be replaced with a 30% clean electricity ITC. Second up is the Energy Efficient Commercial Billings Deduction. Now, this is not a credit, okay? Uh, not for dollar for dollar, but it is a deduction. Okay, so it's above, it's generally above the line. And it's, uh, it enables owners of commercial buildings and multifamily residential buildings of four stories or more to deduct one year or, or of all or part of the costs of various energy improvements made as part of a plan to reduce total energy costs. Such improvements include heating and cooling systems, roofs, walls, floors, and interior lighting. Under the old deduction, building owners had to improve a building's efficiency by 50%, guys, 50%. Um, that's been that threshold has been lowered to 25%. Starting this year, the new law increases the deduction to five dollars per billion square foot if the owners meet prevailing wage and apprenticeship requirements. If not met, uh, the building owners may claim only one dollar per square foot maximum deduction. Uh, you may need to hire a construction expert to help you with this deduction. And finally, the electric vehicle charger credit was extended to 2032. The credit is for installing electric vehicle charger units in commercial or rental buildings. Starting this year, some rules change with requ which require taxpayers to comply with prevailing wage and apprenticeship rules. And the credit is available only for properties in low income or rural areas. Don't forget, W. Scully CPAPC provides business and tax charges to landlords, flippers, and real estate pros in the New York tri-state area to save them thousands of dollars. At W. Scully CPAP, we, at w. Scully CPAPC, we say taxing is their job, saving is ours, or we'll give you $100, okay? And I stand by that. Uh, to get more tips like these, uh, check out my YouTube channel, which is linked in my profile. If you're watching this on YouTube, you're already there. And don't forget to follow, like, or subscribe. And before I go, though, I'm doing a webinar titled How to Protect Yourself from the IRS and Resolve Your Tax Debts. You can get free tickets for this February 1st event. It's going to be February 1st through July 1st, once a month. You can click the URL uh, on my website, or by or which is www.wscullycpa.com, or just searching Eventbrite. That's where the event is going to be. Uh, that's the conduit, okay? All right, thank you, guys. Thank you for listening. Have a great rest of your day, and save on taxes, okay? <laughs>